everyone and happy Monday. We have my favourite picture today. This is from Worlds of Wonder, obviously the elephant which I adore and I have been promising people a very very long time that I'm going to be doing this picture. I'll show you the time that I did it in Worlds of Wonder. Whoops, here's my um version in worlds of wonder and lots of people asked me if i could do a tutorial and i didn't have another copy of the book so i didn't do one however we now have this planner page i also do have another copy of the book now but i'm going to try to replicate that original picture just because people asked me to so that's the reasoning we're going to do it in easy simple stages it won't just be one video it's going to take a little while might be two, I'm not sure yet. Now I did my original one in polychromos pencils, that's what I'm going to do for this one because there are some fine details which um, is going to be tricky. I need some white pen which I know works on polychromos and that's yeah that's what I use so I can just match it up. I know I've used a lot of polychromos lately. We're going to start with the elephant. Um, I think the elephant's slightly easier to do. So there he is. Now I'm just having a look at what I've done. Oh, it's a bit close, isn't it? Let's come out a tiny bit. Oh, my remote controls decide to stop working. Come on. Let's do it on the camera. There we go. I think that's... Uh, oh! <laughs> I must have knocked the button. It doesn't want to stay zoomed out. Come on, camera. There we go. Oh! don't know what was happening there. Sorry if I made you go a bit queasy. Right, so let's do the elephant skin. So the bits of the elephant that I feel are uncovered because we've got obviously all these little details on him as well. And I'm going to use quite a light um, cold grey. So I'm going to start with my cold grey three. Oops, oops, there's my elbow. Cold grey three. And I'm just going to colour um, the parts that, as I said, that I think um, are um, just his skin rather than having any of these sort of details, gemstones, clothing covers, etc. I just realised my light isn't on. That will change the colour a bit for you. It's made it go very blue, but um, it allows me to be able to see, <laughs> which is usually quite useful. Um, I'm just going to sharpen up this pencil, it's a bit blunt. I actually used a lighter colour than this from the looks of it on my original one, but it doesn't matter. Now I want a sort of fairly even layer of this because this is just my base layer. And then I'll be putting, using a darker one to put in some shadows in a minute. So we're just getting this down. When I saw this picture for the first time, when I think um, when Johanna was drawing this book she revealed a few of the images as she was sort of going along and this one was one of them. I was like, oh, <laughs> so excited. It's uh, such a lovely picture. Now I might um, do a background on this one which I didn't do on the original. I think uh, maybe a cloud template and some clouds might work but um, I'll, I'll think about that later. Um, I'm just looking at what I did with the ears. I did the ear completely not in grey at all. That's interesting. Now we've got a lot of gold and red going on in this picture when we get down to it. Uh, just looking at the... Ah, it didn't, it didn't do anything with these, which is getting the same. I know why I did that. I don't always like the toenail bits of the feet to of the hooves to sort of stand out. I think it can look a bit odd to me. I don't know why, I just feel that it's a little bit strange. So I don't tend to uh, emphasize them. I just add them into the main part of the drawing um, picture. I know what I mean. <laughs> so it's Monday. I hope everyone's ready for the week. Um, yeah, new week. It's, uh, what is the date? I'm just looking. It's the 4th. Oh yeah, so uh, in the UK um, some children might be going back to school today or maybe tomorrow. Um, mine aren't yet. Um, they have 
because universities start back a bit later, they have a shorter term. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, it might be, for some parents it'll be sad, you know, they'll, they'll be missing their children. For others, they might be appreciating a little bit of time to themselves again, or they might be getting back to work themselves, or or um, relieved of the stress of juggling childcare. So I suspect there's mixed feelings for most people, really. Okay, there's the sort of initial part. It's uh, now we're going to get a darker colour. I'm just going to go up to cold grey four. I think I don't really want to go too dark. Uh, this way, that way. Oh, I don't. I think you might be able to see that. And I'm going to give it a sharp, and I want it really sharp. If you're doing the larger version in the main book, it might not need to be quite so sharp, but uh, this is quite a small, um, small picture. I'm going to do where I think might be shadowed. So the bottom of the trunk is going to be in shadow there, but also all the way around because the trunk is going to be rounded, not flat. So we can just put a little bit along the top as well, I think. And I'm thinking around the edge of these. It's, it's quite odd having a guide picture, which is what I'm sort of following my original picture. I don't normally do that. I don't. I normally like to do it a bit different, but um, as I've been had been asked by so many people to do a tutorial, then I thought I would replicate it. I also like it. Now this bit would be slightly rounded because the the um, tusk is rounded, but there'd be quite a bit of shadow, I feel, in there. And also under there. I'm going to put a bit under here as well. And here. Like that. Now, I've just got to get my hanky out, sorry. The back legs would be slightly more shadowed than the front legs. So we'll add a bit in there. <clears throat> oh, pencil didn't want to be picked up. So I'm thinking here might be fairly dark and then a bit lighter towards there and a little bit on that edge too, just to try and give the impression or help us to imagine the legs are going to be rounded and not flat. So the same here, but make this a bit lighter than that. Just bring in a little bit and we're going to have a, there'll be a bit under here. And then here. But we'll go here and in a bit and then a bit in here, trying to make sure it's a little bit lighter than this bit. You don't you just don't need to layer up quite as much. So in here is gonna be quite dark. We want some shadow there as well, but we want this bit to be darker. Under there. And then a little bit here. Now the tail, I just put a bit of dark here and here. Like that. Um, yeah, I think I want a little bit just under the here. This sort of ornate blanket. I don't know what it is, a cape. It almost looks like a saddle, but you wouldn't ride, well, I guess people do ride elephants. In fact, I think my dad's ridden an elephant. Apparently in Bristol Zoo they used to have one, and they gave rides. I'm just checking for details that I think need just a bit more. But I think we're there, we'll just put a little dark bit, just a tad. There we go. So there's our grey. The next thing we'll do is our red. Um, I'm just looking at what I used. Yeah, I think I used two shades of red, but I'm because we've got it's quite a tight space. We might just try one and see. Okay, I'm just giving it a sharp, and I'm using the middle cadmium red. I'm just going to move my picture a bit closer to me so I don't have to keep ducking and around. Right. 
So all of these along the trunk are going to be in this and what I want is it darker at the bottom, a bit lighter towards the top. It's very tricky to do in this small space, just do your best. Now I'm not leaving any white because I'm going to use a white pen for my white. So um, yeah, I probably should have used some in other places as well, but um, anyway me just pondering. Now I didn't use any colour on the tusks at all. Um, I left them white. I'm thinking about whether I want to do that or not. Uh, what did I do for these? I just, I think I faded towards the tip like that. And the bits I'm leaving are going to be gold. So we do those after. As I say, I'm just copying it exactly how I did it before. So I'm here, I'm doing them a little bit darker in here, a little bit lighter towards the end, but it's not a lot of space. Now this one, we've got a bit more space, so do a bit darker here, a bit less there. That. So we've got a lighter area. Uh, yeah, with these, we make them darker here, and then a bit lighter as we went down. It's still fairly intense. Don't want too much white paper. So, like that. So you can see a difference, but there's still a fair bit of colour in there. And then just working through all of them. Yeah, we're very lucky that we've got a little bit of a longer holiday. The boys have had such a long holiday. I gave them a few projects to think about during the holiday, but I haven't really managed to achieve. Hmm. This looks like it's a slightly different colour in mine, but I'm not going to... I'm going to keep to this colour. They find it hard to achieve. What? So one of them was going to write a Minecraft mod piece of software and he found it really difficult to find any tutorials and things on how to do it. So he didn't unfortunately manage to do that. And the other one was going to do a lot of work um, on his YouTube channel and he actually has achieved that so that's rather good. Um, but they both were going to learn to drive, but we've just, everything's been taken so long. Um, the one's had his, got his license now, but they're revising for their theory test. Um, the other one still hasn't got his license, which I might chase up today, just to see if they need any more information from us. Um, we'll see. Um, yeah, and they've been having to sort out banking things and thing other things and we've been out and about and I've been doing things and it's just everything why does everything take so long <laughs> it's very odd but anyway we're, um, they'll get there they're not in a rush you see and I think that's part of it They've only got an attention span for a certain amount of time and then they want to just get on and do their own thing. I'm just trying to make these a little bit darker at the top. I don't know why, but they're quite small. You can't really see much of a difference. Um, yeah, these circles here, I'm just going to block these in. It all looks quite plain at the moment, but it sort of comes to life once the other details are added. Um, these. This is not quite such a warm red as I used before, but it looks more jewel-like, which I think might work better. So here I'm going to leave a little lighter gap in the middle of each bit to help emphasize the um, roundness of the legs. Roundness. That's, 
Is that a word? <laughs> Who knows? There we go. Okay, so I think that's all the red. I'm just looking. Yeah, now we need to do the gold. I'm going to start with a dark brown. I think I'm going to use the burnt umber and put in the darker areas. Now, this is much easier for me than normal because I can follow my lead. So put a bit top and bottom there. Now, the idea is that you put a hardish bit and then try and fade it in a bit. So you put your hardest bit on the edge and then fade it in. Now we've got such a small space and we've got to fit four colours or so in here. So it's going to be a little bit of a tricky um, one, but we'll get there. And uh, we can always slightly adapt if necessary. There we go. Um, in here, it's darker here and here. What's going on in that bit? Ah, that bit's just, just blocked in like that. But the ear, what I did was I made this whole bit gold, so I put a dark bit there. So you see I've done it quite dark along that line and then faded it down. And then from the bottom of the ear upwards. Oh, I don't know why my nose is a bit money today. Um, I put a little bit in there. Okay, then this bit here, can you can you in shot? Yeah, there's a little bit at the top there. And um, where did we go? Around the edge of here. Sorry for this. It's easier than trying to think. <laughs> Which my brain's a bit addled. Um, it's playing um, Catan with my boys and my dad yesterday. We played three games. My boys are so competitive and they're so good. And I really wanted to win, but I was I lost, I think. I mean we didn't properly add up, we just you just see who wins really. But my goodness. Now between here and here there's gonna be a bit of a shadow. We might draw that in after. I didn't on mine. So, hmm, let me see, how did I do those? I uh, said so these just fade downwards. Yeah, so I was, I was concentrating, but now I'm rubbish. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if I lose concentration part way through the game. I talked to them about their tactics after and try them out and things, but I don't know. Just not very good. I tried different tactics in different games and I still lost. <laughs> so anyway. Who knows? I think maybe I just positioned my items wrongly at the beginning. Um I'm gonna sneeze, hang on a minute. Oh, sorry about that. Right. Next colour I'm going to use is I think they're mm, yeah, I'm going to use the brown ochre. could use the raw umber. Now I'm going to use the raw umber. Changed my mind. Raw umber. Whoop. Can you see? Can you see? I don't know. And we basically extend every part that we've done. So I'll go over the top and just extend that a bit. And just work through. Now we, I have got, I was planning on doing four colours, but I think for some of these gaps I might only be able to fit in three. So it will have to, this bit is quite big, but um, these bits quite small. So I'll have to, we'll play around with it in a bit when we do our next colour. Now you've seen me colour gold a lot before. Um, hopefully you've practiced a little bit because it's uh, it takes a bit of practice I think um, sometimes I don't want to do a page with a lot of metallics because it's I feel like it's a lot of work even though I do enjoy it and I feel like I've got some different techniques which work for me 
but uh, sometimes it's just like mm. but you see this is so much quicker because now I've laid down my foundations I can just go you see that's it that was really quick now I've got green gold I need to sharpen my green gold oh I didn't do the uh, I missed a bit <laughs> yep. let's go back to the raw umber and do this bit in here So here's a green gold. Whoop. Now, for these, I still haven't sharpened it enough, for God's sake. <laughs> okay. For these bits here, I can leave enough of a space to put in another colour. But here, it's quite small. But I can still go over with another colour, I just can't extend into any of the space. I might decide that actually just having these colours is enough. I don't know. It doesn't quite look warm enough for my liking. It, it will look warmer. I think it's because I've used a colder red, if that makes sense. It's a much darker red than the one I use. I'm just going to fade that out a bit. It's a bit too finished, you know, sharp. There isn't, there's a line. These just need extending a bit. We haven't didn't do that bit with the raw umber, did we? That bit in there. I'll we'll just go back to the raw umber for a minute. Just extend this bit in. Back to the green gold. Oh, that was the right side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My son was in a funny mood yesterday. We were we took the train um, to when my pet, well I had to go to a hospital appointment with my one son. Um, it's just for um, orthodontics. It's nothing. It's because he had to have a very complicated orthodontics procedures, but he's it's all nearly done now. Um, he's just having a sort of almost final checkup. I'm going to get a nice warm yellow to finish with. This is the Naples yellow. And even on these smaller areas where there isn't much room, we're still going to use it. We're going to put it over everything and bring it in so that the little white gap is really quite small. Um, yes, yeah, so we were on the train, so I actually had their attention quite a lot because normally in the day they're on their computers playing games or upstairs, he might be upstairs in his bedroom or whatever, you know, that's fine, and, you know. but because uh, we were together, it was uh, it was nice, he was making some terrible jokes, <laughs> real dad jokes, um, although my other son says mum jokes are worse, but yeah. <laughs> Um, so it was funny, but we did so much walking. Um, I wanted to show him where he would have to walk to uh, um, university because he he's going into that town for university. So uh, I showed him a bit as we got off the train, but it was, uh, we didn't go all the way because we were, had an appointment to get to, but I could show him part of the way. And uh, so that was good. And um, but we walked loads because we uh, we walked from the train station to the hospital. It's about twenty twenty no thirty minute walk. And then after that we went into town and we walked around town a bit. And then we walked back to my parents' house. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave much white at the end of these. 
I think I'd quite like them to be fully filled in, to be honest. I think they'll look a bit more finished. It's okay if the white's in the middle, it looks like shine, but if it's on the end, it doesn't always quite work. I think I missed those out with the green gold, didn't I? I think that'd be okay. And these I'm going to take right to the edge as well. Right. Now we need to add, I think, almost done. I used a warmer red, and I'm going to use a bit of a warmer red on some of the red because I'm not quite happy with how it's looking. This is, mm, that's the pale geranium make. I don't think I will use that one. Whoops. This is the 118. What is that? Scarlet red. I'm going to use that. So basically I'm just going to go over the red areas completely with that, apart from these ones that have got a bit of white in the middle where I'll still leave a little bit of a gap. And I'm hoping it's going to uh, make it look a little bit warmer. When we do the uh, balloons we'll need more than two shades of red I think. Because these are quite transparent, it will warm it up and you'll hopefully still be able to see that there's darker red in some areas. But this isn't our final touch, we've got a little bit to go. And then we'll be done for today, we're doing just the elephant today. But the final touch makes all the difference, so do hang on to the end and see what a little secret weapon. <laughs> I think I'm hyping it up a bit too much. Uh, but while I've got your attention, please um, like and subscribe to my channel. It makes such a big difference. Thank you. If you already have or do. Right. White pen. That's what we need. I'm going to use the... Oh, trying to find it. The number eight size jelly roll. The five might be more suitable for some of these really tiny dots, which actually I might use if I can find it. Fiddling around. There we go. I'm going to use the five first for the smaller dots. So these here. I'm just going to go right in the centre. If I can get the pen to work. Yeah. And it gives a little shine mark. Like that, and on, and on these dots actually. You can hear dog barking. My neighbour's dog sitting. It's a very yappy dog. <laughs> it's okay though. Right, so that's those. And then I'm going to use my 08 to do the rest. Um, yeah. So on here, just do a little line. on the end there. Like that. Um, I did these at the bottom. That's what I'm going to do this time. I'm just going to scribble this pen. Oh, where's a bit of scrap paper? Oh, there's a bit. Just randomly scribble on something. No. <laughs> Make sure it's a scrap bit of paper. Um, these ones I did here. And where else? Oh yeah, these shapes here. And that makes, I think, a huge difference to how he looks. Um, in my original picture, I didn't colour that in at all, I forgot. I am going to colour it in now. I'm going to do it in a sort of silver look. Um, 
and then we'll concentrate on the balloons in the next video. So we're going to use the cold grey um, four that we use for the elephant and we're just going to put a really heavy layer here. So layer, layer, layer and just bring it up like that and the same here, put a lot in there and then bring it up and then get the lighter grey this was the cold grey three and just bring that up we want to leave a little bit of white at the top for shine now I feel like I want a bit more shadow there I'm just going to grab the Payne's grey this is nice for, Payne's grey is nice for uh, uh, cold shadows and put a little bit each side there and there In there. Come on, pencil. There we go. Now I'm thinking about the ear and some shadow there as well. I'm going to continue with my Payne's Grey and put a little shadow line right under the ear. I'm going to go right up through the gold and the red and everything. Just create that little bit of a shadow. It's what I didn't do on my original one. And here, I think where the legs are behind and here. Bit under there. And then, yeah, maybe I'll leave it there. I don't want to make it overly complicated, but I'm uh, happy with how it looks anyway. So there's our elephants. That's our first stage done. Um, hopefully it wasn't as complex as you may have thought it would be. I think once you've got the first stages in, it's it's fine. And then we're going to do our start on our balloons. Whether we get them done or not in a video, I do not know. I can't predict. Um, I'm having a look at how I've coloured them, and some of them I might change a bit. So we'll see. But anyway, for now, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a really super day and tune in tomorrow for the next instalment. Thank you so much and happy colouring.